Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer that I'm really excited about. I've had it a number of times, and it's really one of my favorite beers. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have Hetty Topper a couple of times, and to me this is like the little brother to Hetty Topper. If you don't know, Hetty Topper was for a long time considered, I don't know if it still is, but it's for a long time considered to be the, uh, like the best craft beer around. Pretty cool uh, Boulevard Brewing. It says Smokestack Series bottle cap. This is Boulevard The Calling. This is a double IPA. Mmm, smells good. The last, this is probably going on four beers now, have all had a very similar color. The American, the the highlight, um, white oak, and what did we do last night? We did the I don't remember. Man, that smells good. Our sip is delicious. See what we got here. This is a cool, cool label. Just consistent with Boulevard's, you know, normal labeling. Eight and a half uh, ABV. So these will, these will get you. This is um, 75 IBUs, which is a little on the high side, but it has a almost like a like a nectarine fruitiness that kind of like a slight citrusy like a light like a light citrusy though note that carries through that really milds out any bitterness a little bit of lacing on the glass no real head to speak of just a, just a light film man I, I really like this beer um, proper glass to, to serve this in is a tulip glass I really need to get a two of us. We keep saying that, but it's slightly cloudy. So early on, we talked about SRM scale, which is the I forgot what it stood for. Now I'll put it up here on the bottom. Uh, it has to do with color. So Boulevard uses a different scale called like EMC or something like that that I've never heard of. I have to do a little research on that, and I'll, I'll put up here what, what that stands for. Man, this is still one of my favorite beers. So, it's so drinkable. It's, um, let me see, what was the last, what was the last beer we did? Oh, the last beer we did was, uh, Dogfish Head Romantic Chemistry. And these the last four beers have all had a very similar, um, color profile. This is a little lighter than the last couple ones. The other ones were a little more amber. But this is really good. I, I, it's... Yeah. I, I first had this at a little bar called Thirsty Topher in uh, Orlando. And I've been a fan ever since. I think it's one of my most checked in beers. I don't like to check in stuff multiple times on Untapped, but I think I've checked this in like five times. A couple on accident, like I was like, oh wow, what's this? And then I realized I've had it before. It has, it does have a little bit of hoppiness that sits on your tongue. But it has just a, a smooth, easy drinking. It, it's it's kind of hard to describe accurately. And the smell is just kind of sweet and, and airy, but citrusy. So my ranking on this beer is a four and a half. And... Uh, 
first time I had it was on draft, and I would say the first couple few times I had it was on draft. I would say it might be a hair better on draft than in the bottle. I think in the bottle I'd only give it a four and a quarter. So I'm going to go with a four and a quarter today. Like I said, cool bottle. It's got this diamond shape that they uh, they use quite a bit. Nothing really special on the bottle. The Boulevard's from Kansas City. I believe this is available year round. So we have another beer coming up from uh, Boulevard. I'll probably do it next. It is the, I think it's called Heavy Lifting IPA. And it's, way, it's supposed to be way more hoppy than this. This is 75 IBUs. I'm curious to see what that one is being, you know, it's touted as being a very hoppy beer. Man, it's just, after a long day, this is a nice relaxing beer. It's lighter than the last couple that were more of the medium body. This is lighter than that, but it's still on the, it's on the lighter side of medium, not on the heavier side of light. It's a little bit past that. It's on the lighter side of medium. You could have a couple of these, but at eight and a half percent, they'd, they'd catch up to you pretty quick. Two or three, you'd be, you'd be feeling it. Nice, nice, uh, kind of sporadic lacing on the glass nothing nothing real like a lot of times you get good lacing on a glass or however you want to call them you get a beer that's indicative of having lacing on the glass you'll have almost like striations from where the like high water mark was this does cling to the glass a little bit which is something I've noticed um, more with beers that do have lacing is they kind of kind of kind of cling on the glass almost like that in a syrupy way but they're even if they're not a syrupy beer and that's good so uh, I got a little bit of work to do but uh, after that maybe I'll record the um, the next Boulevard beer the heavy lifting really cool can on that one Until next time, cheers.